gentlemen welcome to Rudy's room I'm Mark Pucciolato founder and CEO of on the mark training from a young age I always wanted to help people and that's what I do for a living now we help people live longer I started a mobile gym business five years ago and we are consistently seeing clients over the North and South Shore and Manhattan with our multiple vehicles making them healthier you can contact us at 516-758 OTMT and here is Rudy. Yeah! Woo! All right, good right. Hey, happy Wednesday, everybody, and welcome to Rudy's Room, the one-hour break in your day. I don't know about you, I've had a rough week. I am looking to have some fun, and we're gonna talk to my very first guest, and I've got three fantastic guests out back, and there's a game we're gonna play today that I am very excited about. So it's either gonna be really, really good, or a total train wreck, but you never know. Let's talk to my first guest. We got Mark. How are you, man? Good Pleasure to see to you. Here. You too, Thanks man. For having Look me. at you. I'm glad you're here because Mark, I the fitness thing. I need your help. I can't put the cookie down. Talk to me. Listen, that's a problem uh, a lot of people have. You have not had a cookie problem. Let's be real. Uh, I was young. when I was younger. I used to have weight problems, to be honest. So I, I had, younger, I had you're issues. Younger, like twelve. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Just turned twenty-eight freshly, but oh, uh, oh, geez, yeah. Okay. Most most of our most of our clients. Jeans older than you, but it's okay. Go on. <laughs> Most of our clientele, most people do find that, you know, okay. putting the desserts down, cookies down, the bad uh -huh. food down is, is difficult. Okay. We try to help with that the best we can. Right. But, you know, in real life, real life situations, it is tough and it's difficult to do. Absolutely. Now, you said you're a mobile gym, right? Correct. So what, what exactly does that mean? So essentially, we have multiple vehicles mm -hmm. stacked with equipment, uh, state of the line equipment. We go house to house um, on the North Shore and South Shore of Long Island. And okay. We're in Manhattan now as well. And, you know, we train our clients. We train them personal training, okay. we have yoga, we have massages, Pilates, we bring food to your house with meal plans. How we many of you fit specials. inside that van? <laughs> so just the equipment and just the trainer okay. going to the house <laughs> or in the van. It's like a team, a SWAT team comes out to like work on you. <laughs> That's amazing. And now in terms of like the hours and stuff, is, how, how does that work? Is so we are open, we're open 5 a.m to 10 p.m. on the weeknights, okay. and Saturday and Sunday, we start 7 a.m. to around 5 p.m. That's amazing. How did you get started doing this? Uh, I realized a couple things when I was younger. I didn't want to work for anybody okay. you know, right out of college. I learned from some of the best gym owners in the world, yep. and then I developed the model to go home to home because I didn't want to really pay overhead and anybody in rent, and it just, you know, it worked. It trickled down from there. That's not bad. And now, do you offer packages? And if you yes, mind we offer asking, packages. Like, what do they cost approximately? So we are $120 per session. We make packages oh. for $90 per session if okay. that's bought in bulk of 10 so $900, and we have specific deals for, you know, if you want groups and, uh, you know, yoga prices vary, and there's all different situations we have. Okay. Who would you say is your best trainer? Best trainer? Oh man, put me on the spot. <laughs> Absolutely. We have we have phenomenal trainers. We have six answer. of them. We have six of them. They're okay. all great in a different way. Okay. They all train clients differently and uniquely, and each client seems to love the variety that they get. Do you have a favorite trainer? Do I have a favorite trainer? I you, you kind of have to go with my, my first hire. Joe has been the closest with oh, me. Oh, well, good uh, for Joe. Okay. For, for, for three years now. All right. So. All right. We'll find out why Joe is your favorite in just a minute. <laughs> we have two additional guests. Actually, three additional guests that are here. First up, where is my girl Joanne Angel Barry Cologne? Where are you? Yeah. Come on, Joe. There we are. Oh, glitterati. Hello, hello. Hello, hello yeah. to you. Come and hello. sit. Hello, nice to meet you Mark. again. Yes. This, between these guests tonight, I got to tell you, they're going to all get Mr. Rudy right and tight. I am so excited. Joe, you've got your book here. We're releasing the weight, right? Hold it up. Yes, you're we an are. authoress. Yes. I am very proud of you. And you're all glitterati. What's, what's going on? What's going on? I'm here. Okay. Oh, I'm here to here. promote my book, Healing. Uh -huh. oh. 
The power to delete. You forgot the name of her book. I have two of them. That's why. Yeah, (laughs) two books, multiple books. Yeah, multiple books. I almost gave gave the uh, other title, Mm -hmm. but yes. So yeah, I'm here to promote myself, uh, my facility, Fitness Mm -hmm. for Us, located in Queens. Yep. uh, Flushing, also a personal trainer. Oh, very nice. But a different style, technique, a mind, body, and spiritual transformational tech uh, style. And you were a bodybuilder, correct? Yes, I am. That's a good thought. Yes, yes. yes. Look at that. Oh. Hello. Get tickets to the gun show. Let's Get go. tickets to the gun show. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And um, it's not official, but a little birdie tells me that you are about to become uh, one of the newest personalities here at Strong Island TV. Yes, I am. Oh, yes. Okay, yes. we won't tell them too much. They have to tune in for the announcement later on. Yes, definitely. All right, yeah. very yeah. good. Now, I want to be a guest on your show, but I understand you're like fixing lives and stuff. I got a lot of problems. Yes, I, I am fixing <laughs> lives. I'm, going, I'm, I'm actually going to enhance lives. Not okay. Fix. Life. Okay, I can be enhanced. Yes. All right, yes, all right. Yes, the whole fixing yes. thing, that's a lot. Okay. Yes. Very nice. Yes. Okay. You two are great, and all that working out and stuff is wonderful, but sometimes Mr. Rudy just needs a good massage and a facial and all that stuff. And when I do, I like to go to a Nas spa. So where are my girls, Sharon Webb Richards and Jasmine? Where are those ladies? Come on out. Yeah. 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 Hi. Hi. Come on. Okay. Oh. Where is Miss Sharon? <laughs> What are you doing back there? I'm coming. She's Come coming. On, She's damn. coming. All right, ladies, tell these folks about what a full couch. Yeah. Tell these folks about Anaz. Man, there's so much to say about Anaz. Well, you only got a minute, so. Yeah, okay. I've got a room. So, you know, we have full service um, spa. Mm-hmm. We do massages, facials, okay. body wraps, hand treatments, mm-hmm. peppermint foot scrubs. We have a lot going on at mm-hmm. Anaz, and now we're selling products. Yes, you do. And your products are at ShopRite, because I was yes. there the other day. Shout out to the folks at the ShopRite in Uniondale. Yes. And I picked up some stuff. Did you? I did. Thank some you. of the oils, they were very good. Thank you. And, and not too oily, which. They're not you too know, oily. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They were good. And we're a touch of the Caribbean, so it has a little mango in it. Okay. And a little rose in it. Yeah. So it's I know. really nice. Y'all got those spa packages, too, I got to tell you, which yes. are fantastic. Yes. I'm not feeling that up the river package, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, our people don't want to go up the river. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's a cool okay, name. So That's somebody. <laughs> we can say Mark up the river. <laughs> and I think I think that really makes us stand out. And some people like, oh, yes, it they stands Caribbean out. Not? Then they go up the river. Yeah, they're Caribbean. <laughs> so you know, it's a really good shout foot. out to everybody on lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a real good foot massage. You can, uh-huh. We do a lot of feet. People you love. Do. To rub feet are nasty though. People, yeah. love people got up. some. There's, there's a fungus because among us. Don't lie. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know that's why we got the place smelling so good all the time. <laughs> <laughs> got that lemongrass going. Oh, yeah. yes, we do. With the quickness and the okay. lavender. And the yep. lavender. Okay, it's always Keep it going. going. Yeah. Okay. Well, I am glad. Where exactly is a Naspa? Really quickly. Where so we are at 281 Nassau Boulevard in Garden City South, right, really close to Adelphi University. Yeah, actually, you got, don't yeah. be shouting out the rival school. Oh. <laughs> I'm all <only> kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned in, but Nassau Community College is best because um, they give me a paycheck. With that piece, <laughs> Joe, how do people get your book really quickly? They can get it at uh, my website, www.barrycolon.com. <laughs> Joe is forgetting everything tonight. <laughs> new website. Oh, look at you, new yes, website. New okay, website. okay, excellent. Yes. You guys, there are a lot of things going on. We have a very, very packed show. So, with that being said, let's talk about some word on the curb. You guys ready? Uh, yeah. Oh, yes. All right, man. Oh, you guys. Um, Sharon, you're a woman of a certain age, correct? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, you're, you're seasoned, yes. so to speak. Yes. Um, <laughs> is that how we say that? These that days? is how we say that. We say seasoned. We do say seasoned. <laughs> okay. So, um, much like you, the lovely Julia Roberts is a woman of a certain age. Right. And so she was recently quoted in a newspaper as saying, her holes keep getting better. Oh. Her holes? Yes. Wow. Now, apparently, when she said, yeah, there she is, that Julia Roberts. She said, her holes keep getting better. Oh. When she said that, though, apparently, it was a bit of a mistype. (laughs) So um, it was the Post Journal in Jamestown, New York. They did an interview with Julia Roberts, and they were talking to her about her new uh, show on Amazon called Homecoming. And so what she actually said was that she finds that her roles are getting better as she gets older. (laughs) Um, I got to be honest with you, though. It does get greater later. So the idea that her holes are getting better (laughs) was pretty interesting. And I thought, shout out to her husband. (laughs) (laughs) So I I mean, apparently Julia didn't mind. (laughs) Because she didn't mind mind having that her holes are getting better. The holes in the 
you know the holes in the great. rose the holes in the rose so i do like that one which is funny um and last week we actually applauded our boy kevin hart for being uh the host of the academy awards yes. and yes. as you all know yes. unfortunately you know mm -hmm. you gotta watch what you put on the social media yeah. They came for him because he had some considered homophobic tweets and all this other good stuff. Well, his buddy Nick Cannon, a.k.a. the former Mr. Mariah Carey, decided to come to his defense. So he started tweeting different uh, posts by people like Sarah Silverman and, um, oh gosh, I always get her name wrong, um, Amy Schumer, who also apparently had some homophobic tweets. Um, but these all, again, were from the past. And so Sarah Silverman, apparently, she went to respond to Nick Cannon and she actually had the best response, which was no response. What she did was she took a tweet from a homosexual man who was defending her and she reposted that going back to Nick Cannon so I thought it was really interesting oh, wow. so apparently yeah now I don't know why he looks like something out of like the Pirates of the Caribbean yeah, in that yeah. picture it's like really weird like he I don't know what the turban those head he, he I mean do you think he and Mariah were wearing those turbans around the house because I don't know if Mariah was going for that what do you think um, I, I, you I know like I don't know I thought it was a little weird um, you know the only thing that was so sad about the whole thing is I feel like that for Kevin Hart he was really excited about actually getting the job yeah, and do I mean not a lot of folks are excited about doing that yeah. and then apparently what I didn't realize is that that's a tough job for people to, to get hired for because oh, wow. a it doesn't pay a lot of money okay. um, and then apparently everything you do is uh, under scrutiny so like they didn't like this routine you did or they didn't like the other stuff mm. um, I just want to say the Academy people Mr. Rudy is available I work very <laughs> cheap <laughs> don't even have to pay me I just want one of them swag bags because apparently it's got good <laughs> stuff in it so you can hire me, oh. and my social media is really boring. It's me, like, pretending to be on the treadmill and all that kind of thing. Don't, don't judge me. Don't judge me. But I'm just saying, you could hire me. I will do that. Call me, 945. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. Uh, not really. Call me anyway. Uh, <laughs> That's funny. No, it's true. Um, oh, oh, this is so sad. You guys ever go to Red Robin, the restaurant? Uh, yeah. I know you all fit and easy people don't. Well, apparently the former CEO of Red Robin committed suicide. Really? really? Oh, yeah. I did not know. It is terrible. His name is Michael Snyder, and he apparently was the first um, franchisee for Red Robin way back in the day. Um, in 2005, though, they kicked him out of Red Robin because they did some sort of internal investigation and found out that he was embezzling funds and misappropriating wow. stuff. Mm. Um, so they basically kicked him out. Well, his body was found this Sunday, which I thought was really sad. Apparently he shot himself in the head wow. and they found his body on a bench on his front lawn. Oh, that's aggressive. I yeah. know, it was really aggressive. Mm. Like, I mean, could you imagine being the neighbor walking your dog and you got to see that in the morning? Oh my gosh. That's like very tragic. Yeah. Oh I mean, gosh. it makes me not want to have that Tower of Onion Rings. I'm still going to do it, but <laughs> I thought that was really, really sad. So it was pretty sad. Oh, and for those of you, Destiny's Child, Jasmine, I know you down. Beyonce, uh, Beehive. Yes, there's the Beehive, yes. Well, it's not about Beyonce, but Michelle Williams, the one nobody cares oh, yeah, about. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, no, she's not getting divorced. It's the engagement to Chad Johnson okay, yeah. is called off, which oh, is really yeah. sad because they had that real reality show right. on the OWN network. Mm -hmm. I was never watching, but now that they're getting, you know, splitting up, I kind of want to watch okay. just to see what was going down. Um, apparently, they were both super religious. He's some kind of pastor or something, but she apparently has the bipolar, as we call mm -hmm. it. So, yeah, oh. who knew? Bugging yeah. out, so. Did she admit that? I think somebody else said it. Okay. So, allegedly. Sorry, don't sue me. Well, not she has any money. It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but apparently they've called off their engagement, so it's really wow, sad that sad. that actually yeah. happened, um, which is really, really sad. And Julie Chen, you guys know her from The Talk? Yes. The CBS show, and yes. her husband is Les Moonves, who's doing all yes. that stuff. Yes. Yeah, well, they found a permanent replacement for her. Oh, wow. I didn't even know who this was, and it took me a minute. That is Carrie Ann Aniba. She was the Dancing with the Stars lady. Actually, no, the So You Think You Can Dance lady mm, on so Fox. I, I didn't realize that. So she is replacing her on the show. Now, my question personally is, if you're Julie Chen and you didn't do any of the misdoings or shenanigans, and now you got replaced on the job that you love, would you like, right. like, you think she's jacking up her husband at home? <laughs> <laughs> when that door gets closed, it ain't there kickboxing. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Joe? Oh, what do you Lord. think? Oh, yeah. You think that so, right? <laughs> wow. yeah. I would say so. I think that's definitely a problem. Say what? And, uh, uh, oh, oh, Joe knows. Okay, <laughs> Mark, you're new at this. Say what? I'm gonna ask you guys a question, mm -hmm. and you have to answer. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't have to answer, but if you skip it, the next question could be a whole lot harder. Okay. All right. What's the worst? Me first. You look you're at me. Of course, we're gonna look at you first. Okay. What, what's the worst <laughs> gift you ever gave someone? Uh, a rock. Who'd you give a rock? 
well, now my wife, but it was, you know. Uh, and she uh, became your wife? She became my wife, yeah. <laughs> why did you, the band, yeah. Yeah. Why did you give her a rock? rock it is. Well, no, no, I gave her a real rock, you know, I when we got know. engaged. But then I actually gave her a rock rock to see how she would react. Oh. And then wow. from there, see what kind of person uh, she really you're married is. Then? You're lucky she didn't hit you with that rock. Are you yeah. <laughs> There's a couple staples back there from that one. Wow. <laughs> I played okay. hockey in my life, so I'm what, right. did, what did she say when you gave her the rock? She's pretty much dumbfounded and be like, well, what's going on type thing, but you know. Okay. We, we made it work. All right. Okay. Joe, when's the last time you butt dialed someone? Ooh. Well, I don't put my phone in my back pocket, oh, you so don't. I don't butt dial anybody. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. There's a whole lot of butt back here, so we don't <laughs> 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 a lot, You're dragging a lot of wagon. You're dragging a lot of wagon. All in good shape, though. Oh, hey, listen. Okay. All right. So you don't butt dial? <laughs> no, no butt dialing. <laughs> okay. Jasmine? Complete this sentence. My mother would kill me if she knew. You guys always ask me this. Yes, My we do. My mother would kill me if she knew that I slept on the beach when I was in Miami this weekend. What? Yeah. <laughs> on the beach in Miami? Don't you know the killer is everywhere? Yeah. <laughs> it was a little Why scary, we, but Who it was you fun. sleep on the beach with? A bunch of our friends. It was fun. What's his name? My mom's having a attack. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll talk during the break. Yeah, me too. It was a team we'll effort. You're saying it's a team. It was a team effort. It was a team. It was a team. Okay. <laughs> Jackie and Killian, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Miss Sharon, what's the worst gift you ever got? Come on. Oh, I know. Uh, I guess underwear that was too small. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Who gave you the too small underwear? I don't know. Uh, no, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> we will definitely talk about that one later. <laughs> I gotta know. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Victoria was no secret, no, huh? No, it was a secret when I put it on, couldn't find it. <laughs> And for those, <laughs> <laughs> she just ruined that last story. <laughs> yeah, All right, yeah, very quickly question. before we go to break, because I'm gonna crack up right here. <laughs> um, for those of you who watched The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills on uh, Bravo TV, Lisa Vanderpump, the star, recently revealed that she does not own a credit card. I thought that was pretty amazing. Um, what she actually does is she makes all of her purchases with a debit card. So when you guys allegedly watch her on the show buying all that expensive stuff, thousands of dollars here, dropping bottles and all that other stuff, she's paying for it with her debit card, which I thought was amazing and easy to do when you got a boatload of money. Oh, so I mean, you know, of money. I mean, I, I was pretty impressed by that one. So I thought that was fantastic. Um, I did forget and Bobby in the back is going to kill me. So if he can't find the image, that is okay. But we do want you guys, if you have your phones, to like and share our show on Facebook. There's so many folks out there that actually do that. So many of you Rude Rangers. I appreciate you more than you know. There's one particular Rude Ranger who likes and shares our show, comments all the time, is absolutely so supportive. The Rude Ranger of the week is Verdell Jones, our very own Verdell Jones. Oh yes. Yay. Verdell, you have till the end of the show to call us here at 516-945-9099 uh, to claim your money. And Verdell, I love that picture so much of you and your husband that it reminded me of another familiar couple. So, y'all, don't they look like Lucius and Cookie from Empire <laughs> in that oh, shot? That is so don't cute. they? I mean, they're just mean mugging in that shot. So, so good for you, Verdell. <laughs> Give us a call. We hope that you guys do. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We're going to find out more about Miss Sharon's underwear. And, <laughs> and there's lots more Rudy's room here at Strong Island TV, guys. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>
If you or someone you know is in the area and you want to see our show, order your free tickets today. Go to www.rudysroomshowtickets.eventbrite.com. Dropping gems from Keisha Christian. She's on a mission. Sharing information. Knowledge for soul. Body and mind. Dropping gems. KeishaGems.com San Pablo, y hace más de 20 años me enamoré de una colombiana. Viajé a su país y conocí un estilo de café muy distinto, muy especial. Ahora tostamos cafés excelentes, con alturas y microclimas diferentes, resultado en una taza muy compleja y muy rica, un sabor nuevo en el mundo. Fue un éxito. And I even got to keep the girl. Welcome back to Rudy's Room here at Strong Island TV. We've got Mark, we've got Joe, we've got Sharon, and we've got Jasmine. You guys, I did almost forget, we've got to do our pledge, the Rude Ranger pledge. So, right hand up and repeat after me. I promise. I promise. To live my best possible life. To live my, my best, best possible life. life. To avoid all unnecessary drama. To avoid all unnecessary drama. drama. To stay away from messy and extra people. To stay away from messy, messy and extra people. people. We'll explain it to you later, Mark. Um, <laughs> to only clap back when necessary. To only clap, clap back when necessary. necessary. I'll explain that later, too. Um, to stay current and woke. To stay current and woke. Uh, again, I'll, you know. <laughs> to look my absolute best as often as possible. To look, look my absolute, absolute best as often as possible. possible. And always support those who support me. And, and always, always support, support those who support me. me. You guys, that is the Rude Ranger Law. Some words to live by. But I do believe personally that a true Rude Ranger every now and then has to be able to throw a little shade. So, with that being said, we are going to play a game. It's called Shades of You. I'm going to pose a scenario. And in the shadiest possible way, you've got to tell me how you would do it. You ready? Mm. All right, what's up first? All right, Mark, in your shadiest way possible, let's hear you tell someone they can't cook. Shadiest way possible? Mm hmm. You suck at what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Jasmine, show them how it's done. Because <laughs> you look shady. <laughs> I'm not shady. <laughs> Can't do that one. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Sharon. You really think that tastes good? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Right you now. get a Rudy buck. <laughs> you get a Rudy buck. <laughs> All right, what's up next? <laughs> what's the next one? All right, Joe. Tell someone it's time for them to leave your house and just go home. Use your hat. <laughs> you get two Rudy bucks because that was short and shady. Yes. You guys are both shady. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, not shady. Shady. we're not that shady. We're not, we're not that shady. We're not that shady. Exactly. We're here in the sunshine. Miss Sharon, yeah. can you do that one? What? Tell someone it's time to go home. Go on home. Just tell them to go home. Go on home. Okay. <laughs> she put the accent on it. What's next? <laughs> Oh, okay. Mark, mm -hmm. tell someone they're not dressed very well. You're really wearing that? Uh, very good. Not Ooh. bad. Oh, not bad. Let's go. That's happy. <laughs> 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 
That wasn't bad. 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 You get on the board. I'm on the board. I'm on the board. Joe, let me hear you try it. I wouldn't go out dressed like that. Okay, you can have the other half. You can have the other half. Come on, Jasmine. I don't like those shoes, girl. You gotta change those. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? She did a little. Mm, so she gets three. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. I got sweaty. Which is shady. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what's next? Ooh, all right, Miss Sharon. Tell someone you don't like the gift they gave you. Oh no. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Dad's the best at that. <laughs> How does he do it? How's your dad do it? He holds it up. Oh, you know he does actually? What? It's not that, that shady, but it's really good. He just said, I don't think this is going to fit me. The arms are too short. Okay. And he can get away with it. That's shady. That's shady for sure. That's shady. really just means uh, he doesn't know what? like it. Here's some money for your dad. He's <laughs> 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 there yeah. all the time. Nice. Joe, what about you? Mm, uh, oh, where did you buy this? I want to bring it back. Oh, that was actually, ooh. <laughs> she gave a whole eye movement. There you yeah. go. You earned that one. All right, come on, Mark. Uh, I didn't know CVS was having a sale. Oh! oh. Let's go. Oh. Yes. Oh. 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 That was good. <laughs> <laughs> Next. That was really good. Oh, ooh. All right, Jasmine, let's hear you tell that. someone they're not too bright. <laughs> they're not too, oh, he's like, he's, What's that good on my feet? <laughs> it would be a shady, I'm really not. <laughs> Miss Sharon, help her out. Help me out, Mom. Not too bright. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Common sense is not common. Yes, I say Ooh, that all the time. Very good. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Okay. That's a nice little... Joe, yes. can you top that? Oh, can I top that? Uh, hmm, I don't think so. All right, come on, Mark. You're on a roll now. <laughs> Give it to me again. What was the what was the statement? Did we Tell read? someone they're not that bright. Well, it goes back to you know teachers. My parents' the whole family was a teacher, so like I would always say like, "Are you really going to hand that in if you're like going to give it an exam or something?" You know. That's like, really yeah, that was bad. I'm sorry. I, 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 I couldn't think of my Take the board. Off the board. Off the board. On the board. Off the board. Give me something else. What's next? Okay, come on, Mark. Tell someone you can't stand their family member. And I'm not too really shady about that. I'm pretty much honest about that one. Like, oh, are we going to their house again? Like, are we going to their house again? Something like that. All right, that. you can have a buck. <laughs> you can have a buck. <laughs> Joe? Mm, are you bringing them here? Ooh, ooh. that was pretty ooh. You, <laughs> ooh. you know what? Here, you can have his half <laughs> and the other one, too. All right. Miss Sharon, come on now. What and was the question again? Let me see. Tell someone you can't stand their family member. Oh, my gosh. That's something I do quite often. You do? Yeah. Well, bring it. Come on. What do you do? I tell them I'm not going nowhere near your family. Oh, mm. I don't care where they invite me. Ooh, that was real. <laughs> Here, take all the Mark's money. Take, all the money. take, all the money. take Mark's money. Yeah. All right, what's next? Okay, come on, Jasmine. Tell someone you don't like their new hairstyle. Mm. And Verdell Jones, don't forget, give us a call. 945-9099. You're so how we week. do this is... I have hairdressers on speed dial, so okay. I give you the number, and I tell you, oh, you know, girl, I will take you to the wig shop. We could go pick out a new wig. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's yeah. a good one, right? You earned that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You earned that. That's for you. Yes. Thank Come on, Mark. You. Tell him you don't like that hairstyle. I didn't know Clinton was still president. Oh. Oh. Here, you heard it. You got your money back. <laughs> Joe? I'm going to skip it. She's like, I'm yeah. skipping that yeah. one. Yeah. Skip All right, and let's do the last one. All right. Sharon, let's hear you tell someone they arrived really late to meet you. How would you shade someone if they're late? Mm. I would tell them, I, you know, I've been here 20 minutes. Did you bring your watch or did you bring your iPhone? What? Uh, this is CP time. Oh. <laughs> yes. Okay, Jasmine. We are that CP time or CP, CP time. So there's CP color people time, and then there's Caribbean color people time. That's, That's right. Actually, actually. Yeah, I, need, I need explanation on that one. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know what was going on with that. I didn't know what was going on with those. So there's color people time. Okay. Black people are late sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> and then Caribbean, if you're Caribbean. Don't protest me, NAACP. Right. That was her. <laughs> if you're Caribbean. Go to a NAS spa. Not here. Not here. Sometimes, you know. We That's true. You say extra late. That's yeah. extra late. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I really wasn't trying to. Okay. To shade okay. Them. I know. Okay. Okay. But you gotta right. tell the truth, shade the devil. Okay. Mark, since time is money, how would you shade someone who's late? 
Yeah. We well, business wise, we leave the session. We wouldn't even finish the session. We leave. Oh, that's okay. That's pretty good. All right. Yeah. So this is it. We got to do what we got to do here. All right. Yeah. We got to do what we got to do. All right. We and leave. you know what? I think we might have one more. Do we have one more? All right. Let's oh, see oh, it. Oh, Come on, guys. Bonus round. Let's see for all the money. Oh, funny. goodness. You know. There's some shady folks out there. If you got better shade, give us a call. That's right. Okay. Oh, here's a good one. How would you tell someone they're kind of slutacious? Rudy, what would you? I want to hear your shade. Oh, oh, mine? Okay, yes. this, oh, this one, that's an easy one. Oh, we just passing cookie all around, aren't we? Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 Thank you. You got more men than the Marines. Oh, <laughs> you got more men than the Marines. Oh, we got, oh. Yes. You have, you have more holes in the holes. There you go. Yeah. See? <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, Mark. That Let's round it out. How would you do funny. I might, I'm, I can't think right now. I'm going to pass one. All right, we're going to pass. Joe, you did a good one. You got another yeah, one? Yeah, Joe, Joe. No, that's good. All right, come on, Sharon, Jasmine. Come on, let's bring it on. You just took the whole yeah. cookie thing. The whole yeah. cookie. Yeah. I'm going to have to leave that one with you. Yeah. you know, okay, yeah, well, well, I will take that one. On that one. one. I'm the, okay, I win the shade. Thank you. And the crown. And we're going to be right back after this commercial break with some more Rudy's Room. You guys are funny. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you for playing. <laughs> oh, Rudy, Rudy, That's right, keep it going, keep it going. Everyone loves a dream house where you can live and create moments that will last a lifetime. In a world of houses where styles vary, how do you find the perfect dream house to live in? You need a realtor who will listen patiently and assist you in determining what's best for you. Sharon Dinkins, with more than a decade in real estate, helps in making it a smooth transition with little to no stress. Buying or selling requires efficiency and cooperation from all those involved. Sharon Dinkins at Remax Signature excels at making this dream a reality. For more details, visit now cdinkins.remaxagent.com or call 631-941-4111, extension 381, or 631-796-7573.
Shame. Shame. Welcome back to Rudy's Room at Strong Island TV. Audience, you guys having a good time? Make some noise. Okay, let's go. All right. And I have to say thank you to all the folks that are actually watching us right now. Jasmine, uh, Sharon Dinkins says, please, no CP time explanations. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> While you're behind. <laughs> Um, thank you, Verdell Jones, for saying I'm hilarious. I think so. I'm the yes. only one usually. <laughs> and um, Ali Barry, you can become a rude ranger just by taking the pledge. So we love that. Um, all right, you guys. You know, there are a lot of people out there in this world, and they are just too. They are too political, too needy, too nosy, just too much. With that being said, I have some nominees for what we like to call Team Too Much. Mm. Up first. Mel B, formerly of the Spice Girls. I mean, she recently wrote this book. She's declaring her love for Eddie Murphy, who at one point denied their love child. She's still talking about this ex-husband and the alleged abuse he put her through. She's pushing the Spice Girls tour. And now that picture that we showed, you know, she apparently fell down the stairs and broke her arm and a rib and all this other stuff. And she's got all these photos she's putting out on social media of her in the hospital. Mel, as someone once told me, you're doing the most. It's just time to stop. <laughs> you are just too much um, let's let that one go up next we have actor Dwayne Martin who is married that was in happier times to Tisha Campbell Martin who starred in the TV show Martin she's held up really well um, anyway uh, go figure they are going through a messy divorce in addition to that a Dwayne is being accused of bankruptcy fraud so he and Tisha filed for bankruptcy several years ago um, but what's now coming to light as part of the divorce settlement, Tisha told all the business. Mm. Apparently, when they filed for bankruptcy, Dwayne got a loan from Will and Jada Smith um, of several million dollars, and he used that to buy some real estate and some other stuff. So he was hiding money when he was going for bankruptcy. Dwayne, that's just a dumb move. People always tell. He should have just done that dirt secretly, because mm. now the marriage is over. Tisha's right. telling everything. That's um, so that's not good. Mm. And I don't know why Will and Jada would have gotten mixed up in that, but whatever. It's just too much. And then in addition to that, now Tisha is claiming that he is threatening to keep the kids away from her. So mm. they're back and forth in that accord, spending money neither wow, one of them sad. have because mm. those careers are not popping like they used to. So I think you both need to sell down. What's with the glasses? I don't know. Mm. Anyway, I'm sorry, <laughs> distracted. Um, okay, next. I have not watched this, but I really almost now kind of want to check it out. You guys know that they did a remake of Sabrina the Teenage Witch? Do you know that they did that? There's a girl on there that yeah. everyone tells me I look like every single day Ooh. of my life. Okay. The, uh, what's it? Tatiana Gabrielle. Okay. I remember we were in LA. Yeah. Someone literally ran me down and okay. I said, no, I'm not her. And, and they still insisted oh, wow. that I was. So, oh. yes, we've seen mm -hmm. the show. Did you get any money from it? No. I'm just saying. <laughs> I would have totally done that one. Well, apparently, um, there's a satanic temple that is actually suing Netflix and Warner Brothers Entertainment, the company that owns the show, for $150 million. The satanic temple claims that the goat-headed statue in the series resembles the temple's actual statue, the unique one. So, the one on the bottom is the temple statue in the TV show the one at the top is the actual statue from the temple so apparently the temple claims that they've got the rights to it so they are suing wow. and they want some money from it uh, you know what? that's just a lot <laughs> I know right I don't lie. understand it's, oh it's way too much it's way, way too much. much it's way too much and for those of you Mark you may not even remember this the, the, the Flintstones cartoon yeah, yeah well er, you, I mean er, earlier er, years. earlier oh, for, very early for me 28 She's like, oh. He might not, but he did, which is good. Well, 
Fred, Fred Flintstone is wiling out. <laughs> he just recently got pulled over by the cops. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Oh my so goodness. apparently that's actually, his name is Don Schwartz, and Mr. Schwartz was pulled over in Pasco County, Florida for speeding. <laughs> that, that vehicle in the photo is a souped-up smart car. So oh, wow. he decided to dress up like Fred Flintstone, go riding around, speeding, and they pulled him over. I thought that was one of our employees. For yeah, well. Got nervous. <laughs> You know, say and what? Go, oh, <laughs> say, what? <laughs> say what? All right, we got one more. Um, Jasmine, when's the last time you had a little too much libation? Not a drinker. Good for you. Really not. So when was the last time then? How many years? Maybe two years ago. Okay, not while you were on the beach, passed out? No. <laughs> then it really would have been like. <laughs> no. uh, Miss Sharon, when's the last time you told a lie? I have to have my mom pass out. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Mm, probably today. Today. Ooh. Ooh. What kind of lie did you tell? Uh, you know. Tell the truth. I don't know. I just. Mm hmm. America's way. I don't waiting. want to call a white lie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a mother of pearl. I don't want what's her name. So, um, don't get into the white. Okay. Don't get into the color. We don't want to get into that. Okay. Okay. Don't get into the color. It's okay. I'm okay with it. I mean, for you know, in regard. Okay. Yeah, sometimes those clients, you know. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because okay. they'll beat you up, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I can relate. I can they relate. Will. I can they will. Yeah, absolutely relate. Really? We see. I can keep relate. Real, though. Really? Huh? You keep it real, like you keep it real, yes, I keep it like real. straight yeah. by the book. Oh, yeah. On, yeah. Okay. Yeah. No yeah. nonsense. But we do a lot of couple massages. Well, they gang up on you. They yeah. do gang up. <laughs> <laughs> they they, they right. tap in and tap out. A non spot is about that life. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I'm gonna get up in a non spot <laughs> now. I'm gonna go. <laughs> like, I'm gonna like, that up the river. What you say to my wife? You be like, mm, <laughs> nothing. Then you like the massage. Oh, oh wow. so it's like that. I thought yeah. it would be like about Ooh. pricing or something. Or no, more, but it could be more. anything. Anything. It's just anything. Really? Yeah, yeah. They wilding out. They okay. wild out. Well, These clients that. nowadays, okay. it's not like mm -hmm. back in the day. Not back in the day. They will wild out for a okay. dollar. <laughs> right? I, for a I one dollar. I could agree. One dollar. Yeah. I could agree oh, yeah. with that. Okay. <laughs> you say it was 99 and you get, you okay. get take 100. Where's my dollar? Give me my dollar. Wow. Well, where my penny? As much as they like to while out there, we have uh, Shanetta Yvette Wilson, who is a 37-year-old Florida woman. And I think we have a picture of her. Where is Shanetta? I mean, she looked like she did it personally, oh, but go figure. Um, she was in line at Dollar General in Florida, and the man in line behind her became very disturbed because poor Shanetta kept passing gas. Oh, yes. Oh, no. So when the man complained about her passing gas, she started, as you said, wow. wiling out. <laughs> she got no teardrops got, on her eyes. She did. I she got them. so crazy, she pulled out a knife and threatened yep. to gut him Ooh. like a fish. Yep. Wow. Yeah, so now she's passing her gas in jail. They <laughs> locked <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But he should have saw those three drops. <laughs> yeah. three drops. Yes. She is lighting up cell block number eight. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So I thought that was kind of a mess. Mm -hmm. um, you guys, is there anybody in particular? Well, it sounds like y'all got a lot of too much clients over at a Nas Spa. <laughs> Yeah, a whole lot of clients. Okay, getting you. it too much. Yeah. Anybody else you want to nominate his team too much? Oh my gosh. A lot of people, I feel like, um, I love Cardi B, but she becoming team too much too. Yeah, she a little much. She coming team king too much. No, oh, Jasmine does not agree. Jasmine love Miss Cardi That's B. Cardi B. You do? Cardi B. Yeah. <laughs> I love Cardi B. Yeah, I do sad. actually enjoy her. And the more ignorant she sounds, the better. I love it. I love and now that she's splitting with her husband. I know. Mm. Yeah. Got the baby all on social media. First, yes. we couldn't see the baby for four months. Now she's breaking with the husband. We <laughs> <laughs> see the baby every minute. <laughs> she's like, I'm going to get you back because you didn't much. want the baby on Exactly. Here. So, come on. Okay. You team too much. Team too much. Okay, here we go. Joe, you know. what about you? Mm. Mm. No comment? No comment? Aw, yeah. you're being good. All right, Mark, yeah. come on. I know you got some folks. Yeah, no, yeah, I definitely, we definitely have folks. I've okay. only been married four months, but it seems like it's been, you know. <gasps> Oh. Too much in a positive way. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, you get more money. That was shame. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I want to no. steer this in a positive way. You better watch it. You heard? In the positive way, because I married a West Coast girl, so East okay. Coast meant West Coast, and we totally balanced each other out. A little Tupac and Biggie coming together? Exactly, okay. exactly. Okay. And, it, you know, it, it's all great, because, you know, when I get high strung, I'm a New Yorker, when thin, she's there to calm me down. Because We're a nice balance. Good save. And, you know, good she save. pushes me, she pushes me the right way. That was a good save. That was a good save. 
because you almost living here at Strong Island with that statement. <laughs> He's trying not to have a team too much. Exactly. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's going to be too much when he walks He's in that low. door. Uh-huh. <laughs> exactly. Well, let's raise a glass to all the folks that we're inducting into Team Too Much because you know what? We want to welcome you to the team, ladies. Let's grab yes. our glasses grab our and glass. salute. Oh, it's too much. Oh. <laughs> there we go. All right, and you guys will take our shot before we go to commercial break. So each of you, let's take a shot, salute, and off we go. Right. from sex cookies to vegetable soap. Listen, we, <laughs> we got to keep gotta this right. Cover all the we got to keep okay. this right. Well, diversify. <laughs> okay. It. And then you have donuts or donut Oh, yeah. What? Donut holes. Drop. Donut what? Donut, donut holes. Like a like a garden tool like hoe? A, like a hoe? Like a hoe. Like that hoe, hoe over hoe. there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like what, the okay. Yes. what kind of hoes you got yes. real quick? We got drunken hoes. We got high hoes. We got the regular hoes and the old hoes. <laughs> the old hoes? <laughs> What's a drunken hoe? My <laughs> ex. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Cyclone. Let's wait to Mrs. Cyclone. Yay! Love that dramatic advice music. <laughs> it's everything. <laughs> All right, you guys, we've got a viewer who needs some advice, and I'm hoping you guys can help. So you ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, somebody's calling in. Call her. Oh, hello. All right. Caller, are you there? Oh, well, I guess not. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Caller, are you there? Uh, yes, sir. Is this Rudy? This is. Who's this? 
Hey, this is Trent Ferguson. How are you, sir? I'm well, Trent. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, I just want to thank you for having me on the show this afternoon or this evening. Sorry for the technical difficulties. That's okay. We're glad you're there. Trent, we have to do our advice letter. So do you mind listening in and you can offer some advice? Absolutely. I don't mind listening in at all. Okay, well, here we go. Uh, hey, Rudy, I've been dating a guy I met on Tinder for almost six months. It was supposed to be a casual thing, but we really hit it off. He's handsome, funny, kind, and really easy to talk to. Best of all is that he makes me feel like the most important person on the planet. In the past, it's been hard for me to develop this kind of relationship with anyone else. We're both in our 30s and still live at home, which is becoming a major problem. As much as I'd like to, he can't meet my family because they won't accept him, and he's in no hurry to introduce me to his folks either. Even though my boyfriend lives about an hour away, we make it work by meeting each other halfway. The main issue is that when we do meet up, we are together until the wee hours of the morning, usually in a car. Time passes very quickly with him, and typically we decide it's time to say goodnight when the police come to tell us we are <laughs> trespassing. We have spent one night at my house and one at his. Both times were when our families were out of town. Rudy, I don't know where this relationship is headed. Falling for the sky wasn't part of the plan, and I'm not sure what kind of future is really possible for us given the circumstances. We can't keep getting asked by police to leave certain places, and a little bit of privacy would be fantastic. As I stated before, meeting my family is not, in all caps, an option. I don't have any new ideas of where we could go, and I'm at a loss because I really enjoy being with this guy. Uh, what do you think we should do? Signed, Roosevelt Room Seeker. Trent, what do you think they should do? Uh, that's a tough one because you know the connections there, the connections there, and it's just, it's uh, it's it's really sad. I'm uh, I'm I'm young. I haven't had that much experience with that kind of thing. So the police I'm, uh, haven't asked you to move. I'm at a loss for words on that one, Rudy. Okay, well, stay out of park cars and good for you. Um, Magic Mark, what do you yeah. think? Uh, I, I find it an issue that you know you can't really meet the families. That's a right. huge thing for you know me and my background. Okay. Um, so, but not was in capital letters as, as yes. we saw. So yeah. I guess it's really not going to happen. Uh -huh. um, I, one of my buddies actually just ended his relationship because he wasn't allowed to meet her side of the family. Why couldn't he meet the family? I, there was no real explanation behind it. So uh, it's actually a real life situation uh, uh, see? that just happened, there and you go. it unfortunately ended when it, there was good chemistry. Uh, like you know, she seems to have with, with were her the police guy. asking them to move uh, a couple times. No way! Yeah. Mm. Wow! See, yeah. look at that. Very similar situation. Uh, look, could, could What's that her name? Your Hold on. Yeah, she well, just, no, she just signed the rules. Joe. Um, I'd probably say they either have to try to get a, get a place together okay. or move on for one another. If you can't take them to meet your parents, you think they're going to be okay with you getting a place together? Well, they're adults. They're 30 years old. They have okay. to make a decision upon themselves. Good point. Live their life if they really want to be together. So okay. That shouldn't stand in their way. All right. Jasmine, you're, you're a youngin. What do you think? That just sounds like a mess. <laughs> <laughs> just just say no, just move it on. At least one person should have their own place. They were both 30. I'm not judging, but... You can judge. We judge here. Not really. <laughs> At least one person, so not really. one yes, person could come over, but both uh -huh. of you guys, what are you going to do? Well, I mean, there's something going on. Miss Sharon, what next, do we do? Next. 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 <laughs> she said next. Next. Just next. No way. Forget oh, about it. Next. Okay, next. Listen, move on. Find someone else. Get over yeah. him. Get under someone else. Keep it going. Um, <laughs> Trent. Trent, where are you calling from? Where are you? I am currently in Avon Park, Florida. I uh, Where is Avon Park, Florida? Yes, sir. Avon Park, Florida. It's in central Florida. Okay. Like near what? Uh, it's about an hour and a half away from Orlando, an hour and a half southwest of Orlando. Oh, cool. Do you go to Disney much? Uh, no, sir, I do not. I, I I went whenever I was about five, six, seven years old. I don't go too much anymore, but Disney's such a beautiful place. It's a, it's a great Great park, great amusement park. I used to ride the roller coasters whenever I was younger, like okay. Space Mountain and nice. Thunder Mountain and all that kind of stuff. It was it was a blast. Okay, very cool. And now it's it. If I remember correctly, you like have a sports podcast or some. You do something, right? Yes, sir. I co-host a sports radio show twice a week here in Sebring, Florida. I also co-host a uh, sports podcast once a week. Um, I'm 20 years of age. I'm totally blind, but I don't let blindness stop me from accomplishing anything. You're really blind? Wow. Totally blind. Yes, sir. Blind since birth. Like like completely blind or like <laughs> like it like can't really drive so much blind? Like completely blind. Can't see a thing. Amazing. Wow. wow. It's so incredible. Well, good for you. Yeah, great for you. How do you get to the places to do the podcast? So... Uh, 
my podcast, Out of Sight Sports, we actually connect through Skype, through the or through uh, through the audio format. Okay. And my the host of the show is in Palm Coast, Florida, at a radio station called WNZF. Okay. And he and I actually met when I, when I attended Florida School for the Deaf and Blind in St. Augustine. I graduated there in 2017. Okay. And we met while we I was attending school. I interned at the radio station there, recorded some spots for him, and he said, Hey, Trent, I really love your voice. How about starting a sports talk show with me? Yeah. I said, Sure, I'd be more than happy to. And that's basically how it started. That is phenomenal. Really quickly, because the show is actually almost coming to a close, how do people find your podcast? Like, what are the websites? What do they do? Really quick. Uh, the podcast is called Out of Sight Sports, pun intended. You can find it on SoundCloud. Just type in Out of Sight Sports. And oh, I co host with my good friend Chris Pinson every Monday and Friday. Uh, from Mondays from 4 to 5 and Fridays from 4 to 6. And I just want to tell the folks out there, no matter what you have going on in life, mm -hmm. there are no excuses why you can't accomplish your goals. If you Amen have goals, to that. We're clap for you. All right. Amen. Trent, don't go anywhere because we got to bring this show into, into home here. Mark, really quickly, how do people find you? How do they sign up? Make your pitch really quick. So we're at onthemarktraining.com. Mm -hmm. You can contact us. I love how you worked your name in there, by the way. Yeah. Very yeah, smart. Definitely. That's right. Um, this is Rudy's room. We are 516-758-6868. Um, we can find us on Instagram at onthemarktraining, Facebook, onthemarktraining. That, that's what we do. Um, and and if I have my way, us. he'll be here at Strong Island someday, but we'll talk later. <laughs> there we go. Absolutely. Uh, Joe. Uh, you can find me at Fitness or Us and directly at 646-236-9155. Very cool. And Anaz, come on. Come on, ladies, bring it home. Go ahead, Shay. Anaz Spa Boutique at 281 Nassau Boulevard in Garden City Is it really boutique South? or boutique? It's a boutique. <laughs> and it's not cooking. No, it's not, it's not cooking either. <laughs> <laughs> it's Anaz Spa Boutique, not boutique. 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 <laughs> <laughs> At 281 Nassau Boulevard in Garden City South. Okay. And you can reach us at 516-782-1597 or anazlife.com. Oh, Anaz. Anaz is spelled A-N-O-Z, and your question was, um, Anaz is actually Zona, my Thank grandmother's you. name backwards. Her I name love it. was Zona, yeah. So it's three generations okay. of family in one. And it's A-N-O-Z. You can follow us on Instagram, A-N-O-Z-L-I-F-E, mm -hmm. Anaz Life, and mm -hmm. on Facebook. We love you guys. We love all of you for watching. Trent, we appreciate you so much. Let's all wave and say good night. Thank you so much for watching Rudy's Room. We'll see Bye. you next week. Bye. Take care, Bye. everybody. Bye. Yay. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. That's right. Keep it going. Keep it going. Rudy, Rudy.